guys Wes here. So I'm gonna reteach you guys how to sterilize your plants because a few things have changed since my last tutorial. One, um, bleach comes now in a concentrated bottle which um, makes the measurements for the water bleach ratio differ a little bit. Um, it's really hard to find non-concentrated bleach so what I've done is I went from the old conversions to the new conversions. Um, it uses less bleach now since everything is concentrated so I will show this to you guys. I'm doing the smallest ratio on the right to sterilize my plants today and that is going to be in this blue bucket. So I measured out two and a half quarts of water. Most um, American like mop buckets and stuff like this have quart measurements on the side. So there's two and a half quarts and then I used a one third measuring cup for the bleach. And then the second bucket is just regular tap water with um, water conditioner in it. I use Seachem Safe. It's just a powdered version of Seachem Prime. So I measured that out. And you want to do at least double the dose that you would need um, for dechlorinator in your bucket because you're going to be moving the plants from the bleach water to the dechlorinator water so you don't get any bleach in your aquarium. So the plants I have today is some Crypt Spiralis and some Crypt Undulata. Um, these are going to go in my goldfish tank. So um, the reason you want to sterilize your plants before you add them into your tank is that a lot of live plants come with snail eggs. And these aren't the type of snails you want. These aren't mystery snails or narrate snails. They are like invasive pond snails and things like that. So this will kill off any snail eggs or any other bacteria or parasites you don't want in your tank. So when you buy the plants, they will most likely come in a little plastic pot like this. Um, and the roots will also be encased in this um, like fiber, um, like wool type of stuff and the roots grow into this so what you want to do is take your plants out of this stuff and throw this away and if there's a lot of it in the roots you can just take like your planting tongs and run them through the roots and that should get all that extra planters wool out of there so that I've done that and what you also want to do is take a scissors and trim your roots a little bit usually you would trim them a little bit shorter than this probably about to there but since I have a goldfish and they really pick at things, I want to keep more of the root to, so they will take hold quicker. So that's what I've done. So you want to take your plants, trim, trim the roots, and get all the planters wool out of there. And then separate your plants. So these came in one pot, but the, these two stems were separate so I could pull them apart. And same with these crypts. Um, this is actually two small plants, but I'm going to keep it intact but these were all separate roots and that one just split into two right there. So you wanna separate your plants and then once you put them in the bleach solution, you want them to sit for three whole minutes. So I'm gonna put these in here. Make sure you wear gloves or just make sure you don't get any of the bleach solution on you because it's really not good for your skin to be touching um, bleach of this concentration. So put these in for three minutes and use your planting tongs to kind of stir it around a little bit. So I'm going to put these in and just kind of stir it around and I'll be right back when the three minutes is up. Okay guys, so the three minutes is up, so now what you want to do with your plants is take them out with either your planting tongs or your pairs of gloves and put them in the um, in the bucket with the water dechlorinator and the water in it. Um, you want to shake them off really well or you can rinse them in tap water before you put them into the other bucket. But one last thing I want to talk about while I do this is um, what, type of, what types of plants you want to sterilize. So you really do want to sterilize all your plants. But some plants are more sensitive than others. Things like Rotala, um, basically most of your stem plants, um, Micro Sword, and like all your foreground plants can be a little more sensitive. Um, these are both Crips, which are really hardy and resilient. So these can go the full three minutes in the sterile in the bleach bucket. But what you want to do for sensitive plants um, and stem plants like that, you want to reduce the 
um, the sterilizing time in the bleach bucket to two minutes. Otherwise, it can affect the plant's adjustment to your tank, and it can um, it can kill the plant sometimes as well. So you want to be careful of that. So once once these are in the bucket with the chlorinator, they're pretty much safe to plant from here. Um, so that's what I'm going to do after this. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I just really wanted to update this ratio sheet. You can go back to the beginning to see this. Um, it will also be in the description below. So I'm going to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to put these plants in my tank, and I will see you guys next time.